this is the largest asteroid in the solar system, and this is it crashing into Earth. Today we're venturing into a chilling hypothetical. What if Vesta, the largest asteroid in our solar system, set a collision course with Earth? Discovered in 1807, Vesta isn't just a rock floating in space. It's the heavyweight of the asteroid belt, with a mean diameter of about 525 kilometers. The dinosaur killer was just 10 kilometers. It's so massive and bright that it can sometimes be seen from Earth without a telescope. Vesta is unique because it has a surface reflecting volcanic history, which isn't common in asteroids. Though Vesta is dwarfed by planets, its size is still formidable when compared to typical asteroids. Its impact, therefore, would be nothing short of devastating. Imagine Vesta, a solid chunk of rock and metal, hurling towards us at about 20 kilometers per second. Given its speed and density, Vesta would penetrate Earth's atmosphere like a hot knife through butter, causing an unimaginable amount of kinetic energy to be released upon impact. If Vesta strikes, its angle of impact could dramatically alter the scale of destruction. A direct hit perpendicular to Earth's surface would be the worst case scenario, maximizing energy transfer directly into our planet's crust, potentially causing cracks and even shifting tectonic plates. For comparison, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima released about 15 kilotons of TNT energy. If Vesta were to hit Earth, the impact would release kinetic energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, each similar to the one dropped on Hiroshima. This unimaginably massive energy release would result in catastrophic global consequences, far exceeding any disaster humanity has ever faced. This wouldn't just leave a mark, it would carve a scar deep into the Earth's crust. The impact would create a crater hundreds of kilometers in diameter that would engulf whole countries. The depth of the crater would be equally impressive, likely several kilometers deep, depending on the angle and location of impact. The force would not only excavate massive amounts of Earth's crust, but also melt rock and metal at the site of impact, creating a complex crater with a central peak formed by the rebound of the crust post-impact. Beyond the primary impact zone, secondary effects would ripple outward. The seismic waves generated could be strong enough to cause secondary craters and fault lines far from the initial impact site. The shock wave generated would race across the Earth's surface, shattering buildings, triggering landslides, and setting off earthquakes and tsunamis that could wash away parts of continents. The thermal pulse would ignite firestorms, capable of burning vast areas and contributing to a global soot cloud. This debris, lofted into the upper atmosphere, would block sunlight, disrupt photosynthesis, and initiate a drop in global temperatures, a scenario reminiscent of the nuclear winter concept. Some of this ejecta could reach the moon, potentially bombarding its surface with high-speed particles and rocks. This would add new craters to the moon's surface and could change its topography depending on the amount and size of the material. The shock waves from the impact could potentially be strong enough to affect the moon, especially if the moon were in a favorable position relative to the impact site. This could induce minor seismic activities on the moon, known as moonquakes, which are usually quite mild, but might be more intense under such extreme conditions. The aftermath of such an impact could lead to changes in Earth's rotation or axial tilt. These changes might slightly alter the dynamics of how the Earth and Moon interact, potentially affecting tides and other Earth-Moon gravitational interactions over long periods. In the months following the impact, the global consequences would become starkly apparent. The dust and ash ejected into the atmosphere would form a dense cloud around our planet, severely reducing sunlight. This impact winter would lead to a dramatic drop in temperatures, potentially causing a mini ice age. This sudden drop in temperature and light would lead to a mass extinction event, wiping out many of the larger species that depend on stable climates and abundant food sources. And yes, humanity would be gone. Yet, life has a remarkable ability to endure. In the deepest oceans, around hypothermal vents where no light reaches, life thrives on chemicals rather than sunlight. 
Here, communities could continue almost unaffected by the chaos unfolding above. Similarly, certain microorganisms, including extremophiles that can withstand extreme temperatures and radiation, might not only survive, but thrive, forming the backbone of a new ecological order. As decades turn into centuries, the skies would gradually clear, allowing the sun to warm the planet once again. The first signs of recovery would likely be seen in the hardiest of plants, those that can germinate from seeds protected by the soil or reproduce through spores. These pioneers would start to recolonize the barren lands, gradually rebuilding the foundations for more complex ecosystems. Over millennia, these new ecosystems would diversify. Evolution, driven by the changed environmental conditions, would likely produce new species of plants and animals adapted to the cooler, perhaps drier climates. These species would fill the ecological niches left vacant by the extinct organisms, leading to a burst of evolutionary innovation. Geologically, the scar left by Vesta would be profound. The impact crater, perhaps becoming a defining feature of a continent, might host a unique ecosystem, perhaps akin to the rich biodiversity found today in other large craters like the Ngorogoro Crater in Tanzania. Tectonic activity triggered by the impact could reshape continents, creating new mountain ranges and even altering the course of ocean currents and climate patterns. This cataclysmic event would be a stark reminder of Earth's fragility in the cosmic arena, but also a testament to life's resilience and adaptability. Our planet, having weathered numerous cosmic impacts across eons, would continue to evolve its life forms reshaping themselves to thrive in every new era. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.